What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys the loot obtained for doing the Dispose of the Court quest from Eris Morn. For this quest you get a shader and an artifact offering 300 defense. Now the quest isn't as simple as most people would first believe, well not at the moment anyway while most of us are below par on that light score. The quest is as follows, you basically have to get 6 victories in the court of Oryx where a reciprocal rune has been used to summon the court. You also need to get 3 victories where a stolen rune has been used to summon the court of Oryx. And then you need 1 victory where an antiquated rune has been used to summon the court of Oryx. This being the highest level we can activate. The best thing about this is though, you don't have to use your runes to activate the court of Oryx in order to complete this quest. So you can come here with a fire team and ride their runes. Shit, that doesn't sound right, but you guys get the point. If you and your fire team are low on runes, I posted a great chest farming spot, which I'll link in the video description. This is a great way of obtaining runes for the Court of Oryx. Now doing a tier one court has a chance to drop stolen runes, which activate tier two. And doing tier two has a chance to drop tier three runes. Tier three runes need charging by completing three tier two runes. But you can get these tier 3 runes from other places. Every small set of runes which activate tier 1 and tier 2. And I have seen tier 3 runes drop in places such as the Nightfall. Now tier 1 and 2 of the Court of Oryx are pretty straightforward. Tier 3 can be a pain in the ass. But if you know what to do, it's not that hard. We did tier 3 three times in a row yesterday, seen by the footage in the background. So once you get the gist of what to do, it's not too hard. That all posted a great guide on the tier 3 Court of Oryx, which I'll link in the video description if you guys do want to check it out. But basically, you shoot these IE Orby things, they give you a damage buff for a few seconds. Seen by the indicator on the left hand side of the screen, you can see it says Ogre's Fury. This allows you to do massive damage to the main Ogre and also gives you a damage buff against the powerful Ogres running around. I believe this may stack up to 3 by shooting all 3 of these eyes, but I'm not quite certain on that. Now once the giant Ogre on the platform is down, everyone needs to rush the platform and beat the crap out of the wizard as if you take too long getting her down another giant morpho orb will appear and the process starts again i'd also say as well at our current stage of light levels this would be near impossible to do in a fire team of three you want to hope there are other players here in the area who can help now back to the quest once you have done all of these steps head back to eris morn in the tower and she offers you one of three artifacts offering 300 defense and you also get a shader called the Autumn Splendor, which to be honest, don't look that great. But I suppose it's just another one for the collection. But guys, that is the loot you obtained for doing the Depose the Court Eris Morn quest. You get a 300 defense artifact and you also get a shader. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!